Of all the men of Azeroth, I must say that my least favorite race is the elf. I'd rather have lunch with a fat ogre than to spend one moment with an elf. I'd rather take a slime to a homey pub than to toast to an elf's elf. They're tall and purple and all too skinny, and, and of this you must be sure, that elves are the sickliest things around, and sadly there's no cure. Oh, stay away from those crooked elves, I look like women and they smell like hell, so if you would take my sound advice, keep a distance of at least ten feet. I'd rather go fishing with an Ixia than to go fishing with an elf. I'd rather go swimming with a dead murloc than boating with an ugly elf. Their voices are feminine, they don't resemble men, their, their bodies, bodies are void of hair. And so I'm sure you can understand why, why they give me such a scare. Oh, stay away from those crooked elves that look like women and they smell like hell. So if you would take my sound advice, keep a distance of at least ten feet. Despite my better judgment, I once went camping with an elf. He stole my s'mores and dented my pots and made the campground smell. A lavender and rose, but such nasty smells they be. So I went and threw him into the lake, and then I went and had some tea. <laughs> oh, stay away from those crooked elves that look like women and they smell like hell. So if you would take my sound advice, keep a distance of at least ten feet. I hate elves. I like feeding them with fishes and things because they got long ears and i don't like long ears and they're blue and some of them are pink because i hate elves <laughs>
suits my desire Weapon of my choice is great balls of fire So why, I ask, it just doesn't make much sense That a man of my stature should have to wear a dress I mean, what may I inquire? Were you thinking on that day? When you counted up for a man like me And all that looks so gay Fantasy. I'm Anselm Stoic. I hack and slash. Who the heck's more heroic? Check 
me out cloth armor fits me like a glove Just Twitter a time I'm ready for love having trouble kissing. With the tongues, with the mouth, like just where all those parts fit together. It's a tough thing. Yes, it is. But we're going to help you guys go from kiss-aster to kiss-master. Here's some tips for improvement. Keep your eyes closed. This is the thing that she sees in the crucial moment of coming in for the kiss. She doesn't want to be looking at a scary canary. Yeah. You know, <laughs> it's just gross. Like to see someone's eyes half closed, like looking at you, it's like a sleepwalker coming in for a kiss. Yeah. Ew. 